half an hour and we found out half an hour before 2021 that guy was sleeping 22 hours out of a 24 hour day well guys it has been a hot minute since i last saw you guys oh my gosh it's been such a long time hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i am back it is 2021 we are officially back i know guys i have been gone for a long time partly because of school and partly because i really wanted to take that time to just step back and reassess my life but i promise you guys i am back and i am coming to you with a lot of great content if you are new here my name is hogla batonda and over here i do a lot of lifestyle type of videos anything from cooking videos to how my day goes to singing videos to challenges and soon to come there will be a lot of motivational videos so i'd really love for you to click that subscribe button once you have hit the subscribe button type down in the comments below i subscribed and i will be sure to respond to your comment today's video is going to be a little life update because you know it's been a whole month oh uh, yeah it's been a wow it's been more than a whole month wow it's been more than a whole month since i last came on youtube and i'm pretty sure you guys are like what have you been up to so i'm coming back to you with what's been going on with my life for the past month before we get started i just want to say happy new year i hope your celebrations went well if you celebrate christmas i hope it went well if you do celebrate new years i hope it went well too i want to know actually tell me how did they go let me know in the comments down below oh that actually rhymed <laughs> but it's 2021 guys happy new year i know you might be thinking it's February, Why you happy new year? we congress people can say happy new year all the way to april honestly <laughs> all right so let's get started how did my new year and christmas go to be honest new year's i wasn't as excited this year as i usually am for this one reason half an hour before the clock strike 12 midnight before it was going to be 2021 we received messages from the NHS saying you have got COVID-19 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 yeah um not many people know this because I personally did not tell basically anyone but yes me, my father, and my mother had contracted COVID-19. Half an hour, and we found out half an hour before 2021. So the beginning of the year wasn't that great. I was the asymptomatic one. I think that's how you say it. Asymptomatic, asymptomatic. You know what I mean? The ones who don't have, don't show any symptoms of COVID. And so for me, I felt completely normal. I was working out, I was jumping, I was squirting, I was laughing, I was fine. However, my parents, my parents had all these symptoms in the book. My dad was having crazy fluctuating fevers. So one moment he's fine and one moment he's shivering, like that's scary. And let's not even get started on the coughs. I was feeling pain for both of my parents when they were coughing because it was like they couldn't even catch a breath when they were coughing to cough. My dad couldn't talk or form a full sentence without coughing. It was scary. Laughing was a problem. He couldn't laugh at all, literally. It was probably like the only time I have ever seen my parents that miserable before literally my mother just she felt this insane weakness so did my dad 
but my mom's way of battling with it was she would just sit down like she couldn't stand up she couldn't gather up the energy to get up but when she when she did have energy she would get up but my dad had a different way of handling it he just fell asleep he fell asleep he was sleeping i can tell you like literally you'd be talking to him and he is falling asleep one moment he's saying hi one moment he's sleeping I, i'm pretty sure if we do the maths that guy was sleeping 22 hours out of a 24 hour day he was sleeping so much it started to bother my mom because he was like oh you need to make an effort to try and battle it my dad was just like no i just need to sleep i just want to sleep i'm tired as for me to be honest i was fine i was just watching movies but by the grace of god and i thank jesus and jesus alone as well as the people who actually helped out during this time thank you so much honestly you guys mean so much to us you don't understand how much it really helped us and it meant to us but thank you jesus the lord almighty because he healed my family we are fine we are doing great we are even stronger by the grace of god but i'm really glad we never had to go to the hospital we really began to think of life differently and we're just thankful to god for literally everything anywho enough about the covid talk moving on so another piece of information we found out during january was that we are in our third national lockdown yep this time all the schools are closed again for the second time actually now at this point none of us even knew what was going to happen to gcses if you don't know what gcses are gcses are a series of exams that you take um and it helps you you know get to the next stage of school education which in my case would be college or sixth form whatever you want to call it and we didn't know what was what was going to happen and then about a day after or two days later they cancelled gcsc's so they cancelled the exam now you might be thinking Oga, if they cancelled the exam why did you come back to youtube oh let me just explain this my school is a very determined determined school they are very dedicated dedica they are very dedicated um to the work that they do which i appreciate because it does help us students um to an extent obviously <laughs> but what they did was they still put mock exams in place which i was supposed to take in january anyway which is why i took the break so i can concentrate on those exams and we still had those exams which is why i've been away even though the exams only lasted two weeks i still didn't come back on youtube because once again as i said at the, at the beginning of the video i really wanted to step back and reassess everything honestly so what the government or the school i don't even know what to call him to be honest head of education i don't even know what his position is it's something to do with education it will be on the screen what he is he as well as other governing people to do with school they just decided for school that our teachers are going to assess us and give us our final grades for many people this is a great thing but for many other people they don't think it's a great thing people think that exams are you know a way to show your potential a lot of people revise for exams as opposed to the work they do you know personally i don't mind having the teacher assess grade i think it's better because i work better doing bulks of work so the solution that the government did come up with to replace um gcse's and to make it easier for the teachers was continuous assessment so a lot of ex like quick tests and stuff so they'll be testing you a lot i don't mind that i'm pretty fine and i just want to take a moment to you know pause on the whole like school thing and just take a moment to talk about the mental health of students i've realized that this lockdown has really had a toll on a lot a lot of students mental health i'm telling you a lot of us aren't motivated to do work it's sort of stressful because you don't know 
what's going on, what's going to happen. Because till now, even though they did say they're going to do continuous assessments, our exam boards haven't spoken. They haven't, so really teachers are just going off what they know and it's putting us in a position where we just, we don't even understand what's going on. And once again, as I said, it's had a toll on a lot of people's mental health. A lot of people aren't even doing work. <laughs> Um, a lot of people don't have the motivation. A lot of people, like me, break down and cry. Really, the advice that I just give to students in this time is if you do feel overwhelmed, just take time off, breathe, and slowly keep going because eventually you'll make it. I was saying, like, keep taking us out, take us back in, and we feel like we're being treated like dolls, honestly. They think we're just going to snap back easily. And the thing is that a lot of us students don't really work well out of a school environment. So that has had a toll, a, a toll like an effect on our grades and how we're performing in school. Because some people, when they're in the house, you know, you have a bed in you, you have a bed literally like five steps away from you. You have a kitchen full of snacks. You have your phone next to you. You're obviously going to be tempted to do those things as opposed to sit down and work. If you are really struggling, this is my advice for you: pray, 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 pray. Take time off, breathe, slowly go back up, and pray. And I do just want to pause and just say, well done because it's not easy especially during the times that we're in right now to catch up with work or even do work so I just want to say congratulations at least you're doing it and yes bye that's what I've been doing I've literally broken down so many times guys like it's really crazy but once again you know we're all humans so yeah anywho let's bring a bit of you know happiness back up here and i just want you guys to tell me what videos you guys would like to see on my youtube channel comment it down below 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 um thank you so much for hanging around for those who have supported me thank you thank you thank you so much it means so much to me please subscribe please please all and if you do subscribe once again, comment down, I subscribed, and I will be sure to respond to your comments. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat. So you can be, you can keep up with me and what I'm doing because I am posting a lot of things on social media and you are missing out if you haven't added me yet. Or if you haven't followed me, you are missing out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Yes.